morning all so it's thursday the 11th and it's 9.03 um sorry i didn't put a video out yesterday there wasn't a lot to show i was on a very slow day and it just it, there was no point so i'll put yesterday's morning vlog which again is just me chatting um in with today's so that will appear somewhere around here morning all it's 10.58 and though I've only just come downstairs I've been awake for a little while my alarm for my meds go off at 10 so I'm always awake by at least then um late night last night a few family things that I won't go into um and I'm very tired <laughs> plain and simple I've not gone out to my craft room yet um I'm not even heating it at the moment um because obviously I've got studying to do first thing uh, then once I've done that, I'll see about what I plan on doing today to go out there. Because um, I do need to film a new tutorial. I've got the second part of the quilling one coming out today. But I'd like to get some more under my belt, done and dusted. So that if um, studying gets a bit much, I've got some extras. But I've decided that... If I can't keep up with it, I'm not going to push myself. I've learnt my lesson on that. Um, and if I can't keep up, I just won't put one out. Um, there's nothing saying I have to put one out. I just really want to put one out. So, yeah. If it comes to the worst, I just won't put a tutorial out. Though if I start the hat, bun hat, wrist warmers and possible cow set, oh and headband. If I start that, I will make sure I film all of them to release day one each day um just so that no one's waiting that's if i j i mean i could just release the patterns without doing a tutorial we'll do just a tutorial to show what stitch it is um but not everyone's going to have watched the first one to be able to know what to do on the second one or the third one or the fourth one or something you know what i mean so it might be that i will do a tutorial for all of them i don't know I mean, they're all the same stitch, it's just going to be different stitch count, different degreases, and in the case of the proper hat, doing the opposite way round than everything else. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see how it goes, see how I'm feeling, what I get done, how much study I've got to do. As I said, my main study is to do 20 minutes of uh, clustering and free writing for the next five days. Um, and obviously now it's three days. <sighs> but I've got some extra stuff that I'd like to get done as well that's not part of the course but it's part of my um, creative writing group um, and I think it'd be really helpful for me so I want to do that as well so I've got to fit in time for that as well as doing my vlogs and my tutorials and trying to keep this house up together not though there's a huge amount I can do but my um, sister is too ill to continue cleaning she has some health problems and she thought she'd cope, but she hasn't been able to, bless her. Which is not a surprise, she works so hard. Um, so at the moment I have no cleaner. Which means it's back to trying to keep this place done myself. I could advertise for one, but my main problem is I don't like strangers in the house. I didn't mind when it was going to be my sister or my sister-in-law. But my sister-in-law says it's not cost effective for her to come here. And my sister obviously can't anymore. So... At the moment, there's no cleaner. Which sounds really uppity, you know, I don't have a cleaner. I've not had a cleaner until my sister started a couple of weeks ago. And those couple of weeks was pure bliss. That I wasn't stressing and straining over the mess of this house. Because I do have clean issues. And though I've worked so very hard on them after having three children and a husband who is basically the fourth child. Um, I've really worked on my cleaning issues. Uh, they still do stress me out if the place isn't clean. It makes me anxious. It makes me feel sick. It just ah, uh, I don't I don't like mess, which you'd never tell from my craft room. But I'm okay if it's my crafts and I'm making a mess as I'm crafting. It's fine. I I'm distracted enough by my crafts it doesn't bother me. But once I stop crafting, I see the mess. Oh, it's not it's not good. But 
my craft is part of my therapy, so you know, I have to get used to the craft mess before I can get used to the rest of the mess in the house. And that's not to say we're super messy, we're just, you know, we're in a very small four bedroom. It was a two bedroom that got converted into a four bedroom, so it is small. Um, and there's now four of us, but there was five of us, and we still have five people's worth of stuff here because we still hasn't took all this stuff. Um, and you know, I'm 38, Duncan's 39, um, D Kurt's 21, and Mally's 13. That's a lot of stuff we've accumulated over the years, you know? Especially with all of our different um, collections, like Lego <laughs> and DVDs. <laughs> Um, and at one point we had this entire room full of books, um, we had to put a stop on the books um, and really cut that down because it was getting to the point that every room in the house had books because we had nowhere for them. Because um, my dream as a child was always to have a library. <laughs> um, and we had hundreds if not thousands of books. So I had to, we had to put a stop to it. We had to make them go bye bye in order to get a control on things, and because the books and the dust wasn't good for my asthma anyway. Um, not as this lot is, but at least they're contained, um, and the non-set Lego are contained into Lego buckets. I say Lego buckets; they're in buckets um, that we had when we were kids. You know, back in the eighties. It's the kind of ones, that, plastic ones, that mimic a dustbin, old-fashioned dustbin, um, with a lid on that the handles clip up over it. I know some of you will know what I'm on about, um, but they're in there, all they're contained up in the boys' room out of my way, because um, I don't tend to go in the boys' room, because, well, I was going to say they're teenagers, but Kurt's no longer a teenager, um, but they still have teenage boy rooms. It's, it's oh, it drives me mad. Can't cope, so I don't go in them. That's my coping mechanism. If I don't, if I can't cope with the mess in a room, I don't go in the room. Hence why I don't go in my garage very often. Um, that time you saw me go in the freezer, that's probably the first time in God knows how many years I actually spent an extended time in there. Because it's stress. I don't even do my washing. They do my washing for me because I can't go in there daily and see that mess. I'd be a nervous wreck. I'd be a jibbering mess in the corner. <laughs> um... I wasn't like this as a kid, I was fine as a kid. I mean, I had jam problems as a kid, I wouldn't, still don't, share food or drink or containers or anything with anyone. If someone's eaten just a chip off of a plate that's likely to have touched anything else, I'm not touching it. Won't drink out of bottles of water the same as people. Um, won't le eat someone else's leftover food, even though it's perfectly good food. Can't do it. Um, you know, I have issues. I've known I've had issues for a long time. <laughs> Um, but, you know, they get worse. As the anxieties got worse, they've got worse. <laughs> Which is a real pain. I think that's why I do so much crafting. Because um, the crafting keeps me reasonably sane. <laughs> um, and each time I get a little more stressed out, I look for a new craft to distract my mind. Which is why I know so many. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get on my study and attempt to wake up. Because I'm not really awake. Um, am I ever really awake? Let's face it. <laughs> Except that one time when I woke up really early and was like super awake and, you know, I th it was the one, morning, one of the days that I didn't put out one in the evening because I crashed by the evening. So I included the morning into the next days. I just don't remember which one that was. <laughs> I'm going to go. My arm hurts so bad. <laughs> I'm supporting you with the other one. <laughs> I'll catch you all later. You'll take care. Bye. So, um, I'm up early because I have to go to the doctors and be vampired, um, which basically means I'm having more blood taken. Um, I'm going to leave in just a second, so this is going to be really quick. But I just wanted to say hi. I'm not awake, but, you know, it's going to be vampired, and I will chat you all later. Chat you, chat with you all later. Um, and let you know what's going on. So, I'll catch you later. Bye. Hey y'all, so it's now 10.06 and I've already been to the doctors and got back. How good's that? Traffic was really good for us. We got there quite early, which is cool, but I've been vampired. Um, the doctor wasn't kidding when she said she was doing a full workout. They took five bottles. <laughs> I learnt today that those little tubes are five millimetres, so they took 25 millimetres on me, which is quite cool.
Um, but yeah, the lady had done it was really nice. It was a new person because first time I've had bloods at this doctor's. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. She was really nice when she done it. Um, there was barely any pain, and she did something that none of my other ones have ever done, and that's when they put the little cotton wool on. She actually put the talk on over it for a while. So when she took the talk off, there was no blood at all on the cotton wool. She still put another fresh one on, but um, whereas normally. I bleed a lot, so there's usually quite a bit. <laughs> so that was really cool. So hopefully that means I won't bruise this time, which would be really nice. <sighs> so yesterday I was working on the wrist warmers, but um, it, it was slow work. I was very tired and very not with it yesterday. So um, I didn't get as much done as I'd like, which is why there wasn't really another video because I'd barely done anything really. Um, Hopefully I'll get a bit more done today. Yeah, studying, though still fun and really interesting to learn. <sighs> tiredness, it's hard to get the brain working with creative writing. You kind of need your brain working, so uh, I didn't get as much as I would have hoped done yesterday, but I got m the minimum amount that needs doing. I would, I would have liked to have done a bit more, but... We'll see if I get anything done today or not, because obviously Duncan's working from home as he had to take me to the doctors, so I don't know. Um, if you're wondering how I'm facing this way, if you remember, um, behind me is, normally behind me, is my DVD shelf. You actually popped up on the shelf on top of a DVD, so I didn't have to hold you today. So my arms don't hurt so much, which is nice. Um, hi to my new subscribers, I've had a few more new ones recently, so... Thank you for joining, I hope you stick around, and, and if there's anything you'd like a video of, just ask, I might be able to do it. You never know. I can't do other people's patterns, so don't ask for that. But I could help you on a stitch if you're stuck on a stitch or something, or if you're wanting to learn a new technique. I'm, I'm sure I can try to help out, so just ask. Um, it doesn't have to be crochet or any yarn related. Um, I do quilling and... Um, painting and drawing. I'm not brilliant in any of them, I'm still beginners, but I'm still happy to learn and to, um, teach you anything I might know. <laughs> it might help you. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and do some crochet. I don't know what lesson tutorial I'll put out today because I never got one filmed yesterday, I was just not with it. So you had the pre release one, um, the scheduled one, whatever you want to call it. So I need to film something today, but I might be too tired to do it, I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, I'm very tired. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and do something, and I'll let you know later when I get done. So, take care. Bye. Hi hey all. So I'm about to film the... Ow. <laughs> headband tutorial. Really simple. One to do. I'm about to do that. I did finish the first wrist warmer. I'm a little worried these look a little plain, but you can always add your own embellishments to them. But that's messed with my table. <laughs> so, as I said, this is done with that stitch, waistcoat stitch. I knew it was waistcoat stitch, but um, I then discovered it was also known as central post single crochet, I think it was. Um, and now I know it's also being referred to as crochet knit stitch, <laughs> so it actually has several names. Um, but yeah, we have the bun hat, the headband and the wrist warmers done. So I'm just going to start the headband tutorial and then tomorrow I'll probably do the bun hat and then the wrist warmers after that, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, but it's really simple basic patterns that you can then just attach embellishments to to make them prettier because I want it to be suitable for beginners as well as someone more advanced who can attach their own things and make their own adjustments that sort of thing so hopefully it'll be right so I'll see you after I filmed bye hey guys so I just finished filming the tutorial for the headband um, it's a really quick simple um, tutorial because it isn't there's not really much I mean I tell you how much to cast on I show you how to do the stitch and then it's just 10 rows 
and then finishing off and obviously weaving your ends which I haven't done <laughs> um, so it's really simple but it's a nice little headband um, I don't have much hair at the back but I have some but it's just you know it can just set over your ears and keep your ears warm I, I like it and what I like about this is even though it's crocheted on a 6mm hook on a DK weight yarn it's not holy at all because of the type of the stitch it's actually really thick and warm it's really nice and thick and cosy unlike knitted stockinette that can be quite thin and flimsy this is really thick and warm and I think that's why I like the idea of mimicking the stockinette but doing it in crochet instead of knitting it um, one that means someone who can't knit can get the look in it but two it gives a much thicker um, project than a normal stockinette item would um, so I really like it but I don't know if anyone else would but as I said it's really basic so all I did was do the cast on show them um, first row is done in normal single crochets and then the second row is where the difference comes in so I showed them how to do that um, and for a few stitches and then it's like it's just do 10 rows finish off you're done um, so it's, it's not particularly a complicated thing but I think showing where the stitches are will hopefully help them unfortunately it's very windy here so I'm hoping the wind hasn't been too bad on camera um, but also my neighbours decided banging and drilling was a good time to start so I'm hoping it's not been too loud on camera I'll have to wait and see um, but if it's really bad I'll just have to refilm it later on or something when it's quieter if it quiets and so um, but um, yeah I'm happy with it anyway let's take it off because it is rather warm <laughs> it's a really nice thick stitch um, those who've done Tunisian you know that you have to go up several sizes so that you can prevent the colour and create any nice thick um, fabric well this stitch does the same thing but it is pretty similar to the knit stitch on the Tunisian it's just obviously formed in a different way um, but I, I really like it so I'm hoping some other people do <laughs> so I'll, hopefully I'll get that edited and popped out today at some point tonight, I don't know when we'll see um, but yeah, I'm going to go in and do some more craft and see what I fancy picking up and doing so I will catch you all later you all take care, bye Hi all, so it's three minutes past eight on Thursday the 11th of October, I've just got back from Tesco's, before that I visited my mother-in-law because her operation is tomorrow, so it's the last chance we get to see her for a little bit while she <laughs> recovers and becomes up for um, visitors because it's a major operation. Um, yeah, when I got dinner and things, just tried that new salted caramel fudge Kit Kat. Not worth the calories or the bad food in it like milk and wheat. It wasn't worth any of it. It was horrible. It was sickly and for me to say something it was sickly is a... Yeah, it doesn't normally happen. <laughs> I did not enjoy that. So I won't be getting that again. Um, so, so far I haven't edit edited the video I filmed. Because to be honest I forgot. <laughs> But I have been working on that knitted jumper. I now have finished the ribbon and hopefully just see I've just started on the increase for the shoulders and things. Um, so it's getting there because it will it will sit over obviously I haven't got it on full needles, but you know, it it'll sit like that. Um and then go down so it's quite nice um i was hoping for something a little more coverage on the top but it doesn't matter i can make i can make a cowl or something to wear with it so and i'll know for next time to do the smaller size and then just increase more to get to my big belly size um but this is the first time i've done the pattern so i need to make sure i know it more before i start doing any adjustments to it uh, but yeah, it's coming out alright. I'm, I'm really liking the way this yarn is working up. Um, I'm planning on using uh, green and black to go with the purple and black. But I haven't quite decided where I'm going to put the green in. original plan was to do this whole black. Do the whole black. 
then do the whole of the purple and then do the black of the green and then the whole of the green and then the black of the purple off. you know go along so two repeats um but i don't know i might have to see how it's looking to what i decide um yeah i haven't decided yet but we'll see it might be that I've got enough to do two of them, one in purple and one in green, but I've got to check the sizings to find out. Uh, I'd be almost tempted to do this one all in purple, and then if I run out I know that I can't do that. <laughs> um, and just buy some more of the purple when i got the money or something, if B&M still have it. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. If you can't remember what it is, it's the um, Home & Co collection, which is from B&M the ombre luxury knitting so that's what that yarn is um it's a bit hard to focus because of the light can you see that yeah so um which of course is 72 percent acrylic 18 percent wool 10 percent nylon and it's got 250 meters so it's not bad um i can't compare it to oh hang on my stylecraft here's got a label should we check so the Starcraft has approximately 295 metres and this is a DK whereas this is more of an Aaron or a Chunky, I'm not 100% sure um, So it's, it, it's not got a bad length um, So yeah, I, I do like it I would have to see um, yeah, Whether I'll get the um, tutorial for the headband edited and out today, I don't know. Depends how I feel when I finish this. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm not feeling it at the moment. I think my enthusiasm at the beginning of the month is already waning and it's only on the 11th. Um, I think I took on a little too much, um, which is not a surprise because I'm an idiot. Um, and choosing to do a vlog and a tutorial daily was too much as you probably noticed from the fact that some days you haven't even had a vlog um, I think on my quieter days I think I'm probably going to do these two vlogs together so do t like two days worth together just so that it's not high and by because that's what some of it is uh, and then I'll if I have a busy day I can do a vlog on its own or something you know just try to at least be filming every day even if I'm not releasing every day uh, and as for the tutorials I'm still going to try to get many more of them out but I'm not going to push myself to get them all out in October um, because some of them change the colour and they're great for winter all through they don't have to be autumn I mean these ones are already set in the colour I'm doing because um, I've made them all <laughs> which are, you know, quite autumn-y colours, pumpkin colours. Um, but, you know, change that to a black or something, or red and green, you've got Christmas. Um, so I don't think it matters too much if I don't get all my tutorials out, because I can just change the colour I planned and make it more of a winter one than a Halloween-y one, um, or an autumnal one, and just keep releasing for the rest of the year and not try to squish it all into one month. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I feel kind of bad because I had said I'd get 31 tutorials out in October. But the fact is, I can't. <laughs> um, I've already messed it up. Um, there's, what, at least one day I didn't get one out. Um, it's just too much for me, to be honest. I'm, I'm having a major flare at the moment and it's more of a flare, my fatigue. My pain's bad, but it's not, you know, can't work bad. Whereas my fatigue, concentration levels are only there for a very short window of time, and I have to do studying during that time. So I'm just struggling to be able to film coherent videos at the same time. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to see how it goes. I know that nobody's going to care if I don't do daily videos, in fact some of you might quite like that because it means that you've got more time to catch up. Because there's a lot of us doing daily videos and I'm getting behind again. I was actually in the middle of watching Ruth's uh, Pink Pumpkin Crochets. Um, I think I went from yesterday, Beef Stew. Haven't finished watching it yet. Um, about halfway through I think I was watching it 
in the car from two Tesco's and one Tesco's because uh, the roads are clear we get there pretty quick so yeah I, I've still got a few to watch myself so you know if I don't add them myself it's just going to make it easier they're just trying to keep up with everyone in it but yeah I'm going to go because um, it is a little chilly in here and I haven't put my lights on so it's not as pretty <laughs> Uh, I am going to have to sort something seriously about the light situation um, because obviously it's going to get darker sooner uh, and this light just blurs out the camera and obviously my little tree and my fairy lights, though really pretty, um, aren't going to provide good filming light and this one obviously is going to produce a shadow down on the surface so I am going to have to roughly start thinking about when I can film and what lights they've got it may become that it, that I don't have time to film during hours that are suitable because obviously this place is just plain glass so it gets dark as soon as it gets dark <laughs> but yeah we'll have to see see how it goes in it uh, but oh well yeah I'm gonna go have I ever said that I think I've already said that I'm so confused I'm so tired <laughs> I'm gonna go and I will see you all tomorrow. So you all take care. Have a fabulous evening all day, depending on what place you're in and when you're watching this. Um I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully. Fingers crossed if I haven't gone insane. <laughs> take care. Bye!